Praise God, church. Welcome to Sunday School Television. This ministry was developed and designed to serve the sick and homebound members of society and to edify the body of Christ. We use music from the local church, then incorporate lesson components to give you a quick overview of the lesson for the week. Reverend Dr. Willie J. Stukes Sr. is our program producer. I'm your expositor this week, Brother John J. Stukes, of the Union Grove Missionary Baptist Church in the Bronx, New York, where Reverend Frederick Crawford is my pastor. You can watch our telecast, Union Grove Morning Worship, here in Manhattan every Sunday morning at 11.30 a.m. on channel 1997. In the Bronx, we come on every Wednesday morning at 9.30 a.m. on channel 70. We at Union Grove also stream live our services every Sunday morning at 8 a.m. and at 11 a.m. at favornetwork.net. This is the last lesson in our spring quarter under the general theme, Jesus' Fulfillment of Scripture. We have covered Jesus and the Davidic Covenant in Unit 1, what the prophets foretold in Unit 2, and Jesus' use of Scripture in Unit 3. Our subject today is the greatest commandment taken from the Old Testament, Leviticus 19.18, Deuteronomy 6, 4-9, and the Gospel of Mark 12, 28-34. The key verses or golden text, Thou shalt love thy Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is this, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. Mark 12, 30 through 31. The greatest commandment. Devotional reading, Psalm 15. Background scripture. Leviticus 19.18, Deuteronomy 4.35, Deuteronomy 6.1-9, and Mark 12.28-34. Leviticus 19.18, and our scripture lesson text comes from Leviticus 19.18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. Deuteronomy 6, 4-9 Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine hearts, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine head, and they shall be as frontless between thine eyes. And thou shalt write them upon the post of thy house and on thy gates. Mark 12, 28 through 34. And one of the scribes came, and having heard them reasoning together, and perceiving that he had answered them well, asked him, Which is the first commandment of all? And Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandment is, Hear, Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like, namely this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. And the scribe said to him, Well, Master, thou hast said the truth, for there is one God, and there is none other but he. And to love him with all the heart, and with all the understanding, and with all the soul, and with all the strength, and to love his neighbor as himself is more than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered discreetly, he said unto him, Thou art not far from the kingdom of God, and no man after that durst ask him any questions. Key verses, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like, namely this, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And there is no other commandment greater than these. Mark 12, 30, and 31.
This lesson here has two parts in this outline, love in the Old Testament and love in the New Testament. Our first Old Testament text comes from Leviticus, which includes many laws that Moses received from God on Mount Sinai. Moses was responsible for passing these on to the Israelites who left Egypt. Located in the heart of the holiness ode of the book, chapter 17 to 26, instruct the Israelites how to live holy before the Lord, their holy God. Our second Old Testament passage is from Deuteronomy. Through Leviticus and, though Leviticus and Deuteronomy both belong to Torah, the five books of Moses, they were addressed to different audiences. After the first generation of Israelites were not allowed to enter the Promised Land, Moses had to present God's law anew to a second generation, which would enter instead. Recounting the failures of the first generation in Deuteronomy, Moses prepared the second generation to renew the covenant in chapter 4 through 11. Though only one generation separates our two Old Testament passages, a millennium separates these from our text in the Gospel of Mark 12, 28-34. Jesus is featured at having one of the most congenial conversations with a Jewish leader. Jesus had been challenged by priests, scribes, elders, Pharisees, Herodians, and even the Sadducees. Coming after him from every angle to find fault, but the, but the scribe in today's text asked Jesus a frank question and received a frank answer. That answer drew upon the two Old Testament passages from today's lesson. Implications of love in the Old Testament is introduced in the Ten Commandments, written with the finger of God upon the tables of stone at Mount Sinai. God had delivered the Hebrews from the house of bondage, the smelting furnace under Egyptian slavery. Having no rule of law, God gave Moses the Ten Commandments to govern them. This was a good legal system to practice because it teaches what God expects from us how we should honor him, obey him, and how to treat our neighbor. Another way we must, another way we miss the, the thirst, thrust of God's law is to focus on the self. In the culture of self-obsession, it is easy to say we must focus on loving ourselves first. However, this was not God's plan for godly community in the promised land. Love in the New Testament comes from the same source for God is love. But carefully examining the old and the new, we will find God chosen nation to, of people to showcase his love for them. In the New Testament, God love is expressed towards all the nations of the earth. Whosoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The greatest commandment is that we love the Lord our God with all the heart, with all the soul, and with all the mind, and all the strength. In other words, with the very essence of what God has created us to be or become, we must first honor him with all our being. This is not the only greatest commandment, but the first commandment as well. And you know what? God is just. So he wouldn't ask us to do something that he wouldn't do himself. This, this scripture teaches me that God loves us with all his heart, soul, mind, and strength as well. You know, because that's what he asks from us. You know, if God, if, God was, if God is a just God, which he is, then he wouldn't ask us to do something that he hasn't done already himself. And the second commandment is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is no other commandment greater than these two. Love plays a very important role in our relationship with God our Father. And love is a key factor in our relationship with others. We thank you for being with us for this lesson. Until next week, God bless you. Let us pray. God of righteousness, God of mercy, God of love, our Father who art in heaven, your name is holy. Thank you for your kingdom, and may your kingdom come. Thank you for your will, and may your will be done. May your will be done on earth as your will is done in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, not only the food for our body, but the food for our souls. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil and the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, both now and forever. Father, we pray that as people watch today, today's lesson, that they may be blessed spiritually and that their soul may, may prosper. We pray that they may understand that Jesus died on the cross for their sins and that he rose from the dead to justify us. We pray that your will be done in our lives and we give your name all the God and the glory and praise. Lord, let us grow in righteousness. Let us grow in grace, peace, and love, and joy hope, and even faith. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Through the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, we serve it. This, in, through the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, and servant, we pray. Hallelujah and amen.